Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel Hi Mathematics. Today we have a very interesting equation, 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power a equal to 20. We need to solve it for a, so if you have your solution, your answer, you can write it in the comments below and then we will check our answer, so it will be really interesting. So first of all, this on the left side, 2 to the a plus 2 to the a, we can easily add it. So on the left side, we can easily have like 2 times 2 to the power a and a lot of students might be asking why why we have 2 times 2 to the power uh, to the power a here's a quick example for example 2 to the a is our x and we add to this x we add the same x so we add the same 2 to the power a so x plus x equal to 2x and we have the same thing right here but x equal to 2 to the a so we have 2 times 2 to the power a so i really hope you add it because you know a lot of students confused about this step, so here's my quick explanation. Second, let's divide both sides by 2. So as a result, so when we divide both sides by 2, we can easily have 2 to the a, 2, two we're gonna cancel on the left side, and on the right side we have 20 over 2, so we have 10, so 2 to the power a equal to 10. So here is our, here is our equation, but we need to find, uh, we need to find our a. How can we do this? Of course, with the, with the basic log knowledge, so we need to apply log on both sides, so we have log, 2 to the power a equal to log equal to log 10. Okay, we apply log on both sides, but it's really great to apply log because this a we can write right here at this place. According to a log property, this property looks like that. Whenever we have expression like log, right here we have base of a, for example, b, and we have a power this c, so this c as a power, we can write it right here in terms of this uh, property. So we have c log b base of a, okay? really great. Right now, what do we have on the left side? As I said before, this a can be written right here, so a times log log 2 equal to log equal to log 10. And the final step, let's divide both sides by log 2. Let's divide both sides by log 2, because we need to find only our a, yeah? So let's divide both sides by this log 2. And as a result, I want to start it uh, right here on the left side, because a equal to log 10 log 10 over log over log 2. But right now a lot of students might be saying, might be saying okay, this is our final answer, and yeah, this is like mm, correct, this is our answer, but we can simplify this a little bit. First of all, this 10 can be written as 2 times 5. So we have log 2 times 5, yeah? And a lot of students might be asking why we write it as a product. We have our answer without any problems, log, log right here. But there is like a really important and really great property. This property looks like that. So whenever you have, it works with multiplication and division. So whenever you have expression like log a times b, you can write it as a sum, log a plus log b. Okay, it works perfectly. So log, log b, it works perfectly with the multiplication and division. Okay, so I hope you understand it. Log of a product equal a sum of two logs. And right now let's do this right here. So we have a equal to, instead of this product, we can write log 2 plus log plus log 5. Okay, so I hope you understand it. So this is instead of, instead of this log 10, this this product, yeah, and this uh, thumb, this addition, yeah, and we're gonna divide it by log, uh, by log 2. And right now, once more and more tricky move, we're gonna divide this numerator by log 2, by, but not a full numerator, but by parts. This log 2 by log 2, we can split it, like log 2 over log 2, log 2 over log 2, plus log 5, over log 2, but right here in the beginning we have the same expression in numerator and denominator, so we can easily cancel it real quick, and as a result we have 1 plus log 5 over log 2. And this is our final answer, because we can't uh, simplify this more, this is our final answer to this question. And right now let's check it real quick, let's, let's do a quick proof, let's check it, so let's do it, let's do it right here. Let's call it as, for example, check, prove, yeah, we have check. Here is our question, so we have 2 to the power a, yeah, we have 2 to the power a plus 2 to the power a equal to, equal to 20. Okay, here is our, here is our question, and here is, here is our answer, but for further calculation, I'm going to show you how can we mm, choose another, another option, another expression, because this log 5 over log 2, it's really great to express as, so we have 1 plus, uh, this one we're going to express as log, base of 2. Uh, let's for, for proof, let's use this type. This is absolutely the same thing. This one and this one are absolutely the same, but there is like a really great property whenever we, have whenever we can express this expression as 
log 5 base of 2. Okay, so right now for proof, let's use this one. Absolutely the same thing. And of course, maybe you're interested in approximately answer. Right now, we're going to underline it real quick. So a approximately equal to 3.32. Okay, and for proof right now, I'm going to choose this, uh, this answer. Okay, so as a result, we have 2 to the power a, a equal to 1 plus Mm, so I'm going to use this one, a equal to 1 plus log 5 base of 2. 1 plus log 5 base of 2. Okay, I'm going to use this uh, for proof. This is our final answer, but I'm going to use this one for proof for check. So we have uh, a to the a uh, power a, so we have 1 plus log 5 base of 2, log 5 base of 2, plus 2 to the power a equal to 1 plus log 5 base of 2, equal to equal to 20 and right now let's simplify this let's simplify this this is our quick proof we have 2 to the power 1 times 2 to the power according to the power rule yeah 2 to the power log base of 2 right here we have 5 plus 2 to the power 1 plus uh, sorry we have right here times 2 to the power log uh, 5 base of 2 yeah times right here equal to 20 according to uh, the power rule and right now let's see it from a different angle because you know a lot of students might be asking why why we express it like that why we choose this option a lot of students might be asking we have log in our power so it's complicated thing but in a few seconds you can easily cancel this expression because whenever you have this type of expression a constant to the power log base of this constant we can easily cancel this. So we have 2 to the power log 2 is equal to 1. So we can easily cancel it in our, in our mind, in our head. And we leave only 5. So we have only 2 times right here. We have only 5 plus 2 times 2 times 5. Yeah, equal to equal to 20. So right here we have 10 plus 10 equal to equal to 20. Our left hand side equal to our to our right hand side so our root is great and because of this root is great and then this one is also great because this is absolutely the same thing so i just want to write our final answer to this question so our answer and like two variations so we have our answer so our, our a I, i'm gonna call it a uh, first equal to one plus log five over log two over log 2 and I'm gonna call it the same a first but with this for example prime I'm gonna put it prime equal to 1 plus log 5 base of 2 absolutely the same answers but according to um, according to log property we can easily use both of these so this is our, uh, this is our uh, real real number uh, real number root and of course uh, let's write our approximately answer maybe someone interested so a approximately equal if you're talking about exactly this case so we have three point 32. If you plug in it in a calculator, you can get approximately answer. So this is our real number part. As I said before, this is our real number part. Right now, I'm going to show you a few thoughts. I'm going to have a few thoughts about a complex part. How can we, mm, how can we find a, a complex root? So right here, we find our real number root without any problems. But in the in this second part, I'm going to show you how can we find a complex root to this question. So our question looks like that. I'm going to use this one. 2 to the a equal to 10. Okay, I don't want to use this expression in the beginning because 2 to the a is the same thing. Yeah, 2 to the power a equal to uh, 2 to the power a equal to 10. First of all, I'm going to split it real quick. Yeah, we need to separate these parts. So we have our equation 2 to the power a equal to 10. And we need to find our complex, uh, complex root. Here's my few thoughts about it. Because 2 to the power a, we can write as e to the power natural log of 2 to the power a. Yeah. And as a result, this a we can write right here in front of it. And we have e to the power a natural log 2. So instead of this 2 to the a, I'm going to use this one, e to the power, e to the power natural log 2. But instead of this 10, in terms of complex numbers, we can easily write it as 10 times e to the power i times 2k pi. We are talking about k from the set of from the set of integers, and right now instead of uh, two to the a, we're going to use this one. So let's start with that. So we have e to the power a natural log two equal to instead of this ten, we're going to use this one ten times e to the power i two k pi. Right now let's solve it. We need to solve the same equation. We need to solve it for uh, for a. First of all, let's apply natural log on both sides. Yeah, natural log of e to the power a natural log 2 equal to natural log of 10 times e to the power i 2k pi okay and right now the same thing first of all we need to do we need to see surely important thing because natural log equal to 1 and this power we can write in front of it instead of in terms of uh, log property so on the left side we have only an a times 
natural log 2. And on the right side, we can write it as a thumb. So as I said before, when you have a natural log of a product, you can split it like natural log 10, so in terms of addition. So natural log 10 plus natural log e to the power i to k pi. Really great. Right now, a natural log 2 equal to natural log 10 plus right here i to k pi, we can write in front of it, yeah, according to the property, the same property because we have a power. This is a power of e. And natural log e equal to 1, so we have plus i 2k pi. And the final step, let's divide both sides by this natural log 2, because we need to find our a. So a equal to this natural log 10 right here, we can split it. This is up to you. You can write it, for example, as natural log 2 plus natural log 5 plus i2k pi, i2k pi, and we're going to divide all of this by natural log natural log 2. And this is our answer. This is our complex root. Of course, write your thoughts about it. What do you think about this, about this root? This is our complex and this is our complex root. Yeah, we have our uh, complex root right here at this place. So we have two real numbers, not like two real, these are two variations, two, two expressions. The first one, the second one, of course, this one we used uh, to prove it. So right here, yeah, we, this one we're going to use uh, right here to prove it. But the same thing we have, we have right here. So I really hope you understand it. Of course, write your thoughts. Right now, you, you can easily see this solution once more from a different angle, from different perspective. You can easily pose it. But to be honest, this is not a hard question. You need to know our log properties. You need to know how can we, how can we work with the power rules, you know. And I really hope you, you understand my, my solution. I really hope you enjoy it. If you do, you can easily write your response, write your thoughts about this question in the comments below. It will be really interesting to discuss a little bit about this question because you know a lot of countries, a lot of ways, a lot of approaches and it's also really great to see it from, from your angle. What do you think about this uh, question from, from your perspective? Maybe you have a faster method, but to be honest this is not a hard question, so I really hope that you solve this question, uh, your solution is the same as mine because there's like one way how can we solve it? Obviously, a basic um, equation with the basic uh, thoughts, with the basic approaches. So so thank you for your time, take care of yourself and have a great day. See you in the next videos.